Hashtag shorts, guys. Listen, guys, this is a 2009 Jeep Grand Cherokee oil light flickering. Here's my oil sending unit right here, guys. It's already been replaced, right? Y'all see that? Smack brand new. Well, guys, to keep this oil light from flickering, I talked about this on another video that I made about a PT Cruiser, but this connector is the same on a lot of Dodge Chrysler Jeep models. This is a connector. Same connector used on multiple Chrysler Jeep Dodge unit, and like they likely will have this little push pin in here. What we need to do is get this out of here, guys. So grab your pair of pliers and pull that out. All right, just throw this away, guys. What's happening is this connector cannot breathe, and it will cause your oil light to flutter. Now, we need to go a step farther. Grab your can of, of whatever spray. All we need is a little piece of this hose right here. Now, what we're going to do with this hose, we're going to put it in a spot that came out that this white thing came out all right that way that connector can breathe we don't want that passage to go closed all right now your oil light should stop flickering hashtag short hashtag short now check this out so-called recheck yes there is oil leaks it looks like this oil leak is coming from that sending unit yeah the oil sending unit is right above it in fact you can see the connector right there in fact let me take this connector off now i know i pulled that little tab out we talked about yeah it's out i pulled that out on every one i do Right? So can you imagine what would happen if that tab was still in there and that oil pressure or that oil leak is being pressure pushed out? There's a chance all that oil can go through that one wire or uh, migrate up through that one wire into the computer, guys. And also because that's originally supposed to be a sealed connector, imagine if it was sealed to the point where it wouldn't be able to vent. Okay, now I use the term breathe. I should have been saying vent. To me, this connector needs to be able to vent in the event that sending unit fail, all right? So yeah, I just started pulling that tab out on every last one. I got a short video on that. It's doing very well, but I got to replace that oil sending unit, guys. Hashtag shorts. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, yeah, it's just that Sebring that uh, I put, I ended up putting both shorts videos in front of this one. The one video that stirred up all the controversy, <laughs> the shorts video that stirred up the controversy. Oh my goodness, guys. You guys read those comments. It was getting way out of control as far as how respectful you could be toward one another. And, you know, I was simply responding back, which my comments may have came off as disrespectful, but uh it's just the way it is man i got, I got thick skin you can't they can't hurt me but I, I do have the right to respond back okay i put that video up front and the second video i put up was the one i posted earlier today talking about um this car okay yes this is a 04 sebring guys i've replaced this engine i want to say eight months ago yes this is a used 27 that i got all right here it is eight months later uh i got an oil leak y'all just put the engine in a lot can happen in eight months, man. That do not mean I put the engine in wrong. <laughs> the engine didn't only go in one way, okay? So you can, however, mess up other things. I didn't do nothing with the valve. I didn't do nothing oil related. I merely installed the engine. So if there's any problems now, it's just a result from the engine. It's a used engine. I mean, you're not going to get a perfect used engine, guys. I mean, let's be realistic. Well, anyway, it has an oil leak. I've already diagnosed it. It is this, guys. This is the new and improved, this is the latest revised oil sending unit, okay? this These are built better inside. Now, guys, this video, are we talking all this oil light flickering stuff? This is 20-year-old problems, okay? Yes, these things have been uh, revised so many times, and they're at the peak. It really don't matter because we're done with the vehicle and we're done with the car. There's still a few old, old model Chryslers and Jeep lurking around with the old-style sensor in it that will cause your car to leak or like to flicker okay i i uploaded that video where i suggest you remove the pin and stick a straw in there so that connector can vent oh my goodness people was going crazy you should not be tampering with weatherproof connectors man god it's not the end of the world to unweatherproof a connector <laughs> oh you people are taking this stuff way too serious taking instructions from you know, engineers way too serious. Yes, a weatherproof connector should be weatherproof, but it's okay to unweatherproof if you have a specific goal. That's my point. Okay. Now, let me get this car in the air and get this replaced. It's nothing worth filming, guys. It's just I'm gonna use my oil filter or send the unit socket to put on it and unscrew it and screw the, the new one in. Okay. I had to get it up in the air first. So we'll talk some more when I get it up in the air, guys. All right. Yeah, ready, man. This is crazy, but uh yeah, use engine. This you can see the junk out right and still on the engine. Let's get this thing up in the air, guys. Alright, y'all ready? Stay tuned. Uh 
All right, guys. Uh, oh, yes, it's getting worse. I had cleaned this off with brake cleaner uh, and told them we need to steam clean it and then drive it and then look. But, yeah, there's really no need to drive it. It must be. Uh, yeah, it's leaking pretty bad. All right, where they hiding it at? They got it shielded off, right? It's an aluminum piece of shield covering it. So I just got to remove the shield and use my socket to unscrew it, guys. The connector has already been uh, manipulated, okay? Simply uh, removing the little pin. I've already done that, okay? In some cases, I don't even put the straw in. I just remove the pin so the damn thing can vent, okay? Like I said earlier on the last straw, if this was uh, weatherproof and sealed, uh, yeah, your light likely will be flickering and you likely will have oil migrating up to your PCM. So it's a good thing this connector is venting. It's a good thing I pulled this out. Remember, I didn't replace the center unit. I just vented out the connector just in case it happened. Lo and behold, where we at? We're here. All right, so let me get this replaced, guys. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, here's the old one. Uh, because this is a 06 and this engine basically came out of a 06 model, I want to say this is a 06 uh, oil center unit. Okay, now here's my new one. Um, what's the difference? Well, you can't tell by appearance, that's for sure. But, um, and like I say, they're not interested in this problem up, you know, now. Okay, this is an old problem, but... Um, it's just interesting. Yeah, you can see where oil is even in here. You can see oil in there. Probably if I turn it over. Yeah, some oil trying to roll down, guys. So, if the pressure had it increased, remember, guys, this is screwed into the block and reading oil pressure. Okay, so that is basically pressure. If this sensor is coming apart inside, that oil is going to try to escape out of here by way of pressure, pressure pushing it out, okay? You can combat some of that with a vented connector. Yes, I know it's weatherproof, but <laughs> unless you got a real up-to-date, the only way out of this concern is to go with the latest uh, best OEM oil pressure sensor, okay? This one's likely designed to where it won't. Now, when they, they all got a lifespan to them, guys, so don't get it twisted, all right? This thing ain't going to... We'll be right back here with the same problem two, three, four, five years from now. Okay, so they all got a lifespan on them. Um, I just want you to catch yours at the pad. Okay, so that's all I got, man. I just want to discuss that. All right, like I say, I think this is a two decade old uh, oil sending unit. And this is the. We in 2022 now. Okay, I would like to assume this was made recently. Not that recent, but still made recently. Well, at any rate, I'm about to put it in clean this up and then guys we're gonna wrap this up that's all i have okay yes i do have to clean this up i'm here to protect my image i don't want to look bad so i have her thinking she still got a leak so that's all i have guys thanks for watching